there's a lab that you can get that shows how much your bone is resorbing instead of growing because we always are at this balance. So sometimes it will be remodeling itself depending on your posture, what shoes you're wearing or whatever. And as we age, the osteoblast that makes the bone begins to lay back and not do much. The osteoclast, which dissolves the bone, is dominant. So you tend to do away with bone, dissolve it more than you make it. So there's a C telopeptide measure that tells you how much a resorptive activity versus manufacturing activity you have in bone. And here's this lady, she's 60 years old. She was menopausal, had no hormones, really wasn't taking anything. And in January of 2018, her CTX, which is this measure, was 707. Now remember, the higher the number, the more resorption there is. After she'd been on hormones for a short period of time, six months, her CTX went from 700 to 421. She's been on hormones and vitamin Ds and so the supplements to make bone. And by April of 2021, two years later, her CTX went from 421 down to 232. So 700, six months later, 400, a year and a half later, 232. That means we have shut down the dissolving process by more than a third. So she also reports her bone density. So she had a bone density in July of 2018 and the right neck of the femur at a minus 2.5, which is pretty soft bone. The idea is to bring that bone density up so that number will go back towards zero. So minus 2.5, two years later, it's minus 1.9. The endocrinologist looked at that and said, well, that can't be right. That scan must have been wrong. You need this bone drug. And she said, no, I'm not gonna take that bone drug because obviously it's getting better. I feel better, I know from these two measures, this C telopeptide and the bone density, that my resorption has gone down, my bone density has gone up. I don't need a drug. Every day, we really fight this, this mentality that you gotta have this drug instead of saying, well, how does the body work? So it's a battle that we really get tired of fighting, but I think we still are doing these people a lot of good. We can make new bone without this expensive drug and IVs and stuff. I just wanted to tell you that because this is a case in point. It's a beautiful case because I've got a measure of bone resorption, which was really high at first. Now it's not resorbing. I've got a measure of bone density, which was very low. Now the bone density is high in just a year and a half. That's pretty dramatic change. A change that confused the endocrinologist, it can't be possible. That must be a mistake, unquote.